Mm. Hey, Paul, you okay? Are uh, you okay, Paul? <laughs> Make sure you edit that. Um, well, I'd give it to Mo, of course, um, just because I work with him day in, day out, but that's not taking away the fact that De Bruyne is a world-class player. I think this season he's been sensational and I think he's been key to what Man City have done in the, the league especially and two world-class players I feel are going going for the trophy and who win it, whoever wins it will be a deserved winner, but um, you know, for me, obviously I'm going to say Mo. Yeah, I think it was, um, you know, I think that was probably our most complete performance of the season. Yeah, the last 10 minutes was a wee bit shakier than we would have probably won after going 4-1 up. But, um, you know, it was a good performance by us and um, we managed to press them all over the field and defensively we were spot on and, and we took our chances when, when they came to us at probably key moments. Um, and I think that was the key and, of course, that will be the key tomorrow for both teams. When chances fall to you, we need to try and take them and, Hopefully more chances fall to us and, and we're clinical up top and, and if we can do that then hopefully we've got a win going into next week. In the context of the season then, how big an occasion is this and what sense of occasion do you get when you know that the fans are planning to welcome the team coach along Anfield Road? Of course, you know, I think everyone knows that Liverpool fans take to the Champions League um, you know, very well. It's always well supported and that's when they create the the probably most famous atmospheres and um, you know, Premier League week in, week out there. They're brilliant, but I think at Champions League they just they take it up a level, and and I'm sure that will be that will be the case tomorrow night, and um, you know hopefully they can create an atmosphere that that helps us, and um, you know we can use it to our advantage, and and hopefully we give them you know things to cheer about. Okay, Simon. This time last year you were in, involved in a relegation battle, and obviously here we are on the eve of winning to a Champions League quarter final. So how are you feeling about that, and is it possible to? sort of tell us the differences of what you're going through right now. <laughs> I'd rather be playing in this game than uh, the games that we were battling for our lives last season. That's that's you know, that's an obvious answer. But um you know when when you're fighting relegation you have so much things riding on it. Um, you know, you're dropping down a league, you know, people lose their jobs, people, you know, obviously contracts and, and stuff like that. So, you know, in in, in these games it's it's all for benefit, you know. You're going for to to be in, this, you know, four, four teams left in the Champions League. So, you know, we can use it to the advantage. Um, you know, it's a big difference. Of course, it's on a, a much wider scale, but it's for the better. Um, you know, we're playing in the Champions League, and um, it's a massive game for us. And like I said, we've got the potential to be in the semi final, and, and that's what we can use to our advantage. And in terms of potentially taking on De Bruyne and Kyle Walker going down there as well. Have you been particularly studious of them too in, in the build-up to this? Maybe taking a little bit of extra time to watch videos and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, you need to you need to look out for your opponent. You need to know who you're up against and what their strengths and weaknesses are. But you know, as a team, I think we'll look at it individually. Of course, we will do that as well. But as a team, we we need to work together and work in twos and threes and try and get the ball back as quickly as we can and. And um, you know, double up on um, people that we need to double up on when in defensive situations, and and if we can do that and keep you know their their top players quiet, then um, and get our top players in the game and let them create the chances that they've done all season. Then, like I said, hopefully we can come out on top and and have a lead going into the Etihad. Just finally, is there anything to be afraid of facing this long? No, I don't think we can. I don't think we can be afraid. They won't be afraid of us, and we won't be afraid of them. Um, yeah, they've been the best team in this league um, this season, undoubtedly. They're going to win the league. Um, but, you know, we need to... It's, it's well, two games. It's it's a one-off in the Champions League and, and we've got every right to be in the quarterfinals as they do. And, um, you know, there's no seeding in it. So, you know, there's it'll be a big occasion. But 
we'll look forward to it and um, you know we won't we won't feed it but we'll obviously be cautious of their strengths. Okay, see ya. Andrew? So following up on his question, uh, they depend a lot City on their wise men. For you personally, how are you looking for this happen? How what are you looking for from their side and your side? I think I think all over Man City as a team their movement is um you know, a joy to watch at times and as a defender, you, you need to be aware of that. You need to be aware of where your man is at all times and, and where he's, he's trying to get to. Um, and if we can do that and, and focus on where they're going, then hopefully we're first there and we can stop the ball coming or or get a block in or whatever. But, you know, also we'll, we'll be hopefully being attacking a lot as well and, and we can push them back into areas that they don't really want to go. So, you know, it's... You know, you can look at it two ways, but you know, we'll be we'll be definitely analysing their strengths and weaknesses, and um, you know, hopefully that's enough on the day, and um, you know, we can stop them stop them from playing their football that they want to play. Okay, Ian. Simon, you talk about um, trying to keep their best players quiet, but as a team, your defensive record this season against other big teams, City, Tottenham, United, Arsenal, in the Champions League. Does appear to indi indicate that you, that's not one of your strengths. So, so is your can you really hope to keep a team like City quiet over two legs, or is your best chance of getting through to basically get get through at the end of a, of a two leg shootout with lots of goals? I think you know whether it's whether we get through with two legs that are high scoring games, or whether we we get through by a one 0 aggregate. We're we're just looking to get through at the end of the day and. And we believe that, you know, game by game this season, we've been getting better and better defensively and attackingly. And, um, you know, hopefully hopefully we can show that. Yeah, we'll be trying to keep keep it shut at the back. Loris will be trying to keep a clean sheet. And, um, you know, if you keep them at zero, then you've got more of a chance of getting through. That's that's just the way football is. And, and we'll be looking to do that. But also we've got to create chances and, and score goals. So, you know, we'll, we'll have a game plan um, over the two legs and, and hopefully, hopefully that's enough to get us through. You say you're, you're improving, but the, the two goals at Old Trafford were, were not great goals, and the goal at Palace recently was not a great goal. Do you, do you genuinely think that you're improving as a, as a defensive? Yeah, I genuinely do. Yeah, it's, it's small mistakes that happen. Um, you know, I'm sure the City defences have made mistakes this this season, but uh, they maybe don't get as highlighted as much as ours do. But um, you know, yeah. Don't get us wrong, on, on Saturday we conceded a goal and it was a mistake. There was probably more than one mistake in it, but it was all about rectifying it. We won the game 2-1 and that's what we've got to focus on. We won the game and, and at the end of the day, if we win these two games, then we're through. No matter if we'll be hoping not to make mistakes, but if we make mistakes but win the two games, then we're through to the semi-final. Andy, with all the talk around Manchester City, all the trophies they're going for and their sort of brilliance that is so well documented, of course, there's still pressure on Liverpool, but does that put you in an advantageous position that all the focus seems to be on them? Yeah, I think I think it's easy to because we're in the same league, and like I said previously, Man City are going to be Premier League champions. That's they only need what one more win, so they will be, and they've been the best team in our league this season, hands down. And yeah, they're going for a lot of trophies, and and that can maybe give them a wee bit of added pressure. But you know, we'll be. Like I said, Champions League's completely different and we're in the quarterfinals and we don't feel as if we're lucky to be here. We, we've deserved to be here. We've we've played the same amount of number of games as they have and um, you know we're at the same point. So we'll be looking to get through, but you know you could say there's maybe a wee bit more pressure on them if you know they know they're the best team in the league. So um, they're playing against the team that are third just now. Um, so maybe a wee bit more pressure on them, but we can hopefully use that to our advantage and... Um, you know, if you want to say we're we're underdogs, then so be it. <coughs> Any further questions? One more. Yeah, you obviously like to get forward and attack. When you come against the team, the top Carl Walker, the Brian Hurst, the Billy Wall come down to your side, does that make you think twice about pushing forward? No, I don't think it. I don't think it makes them. They don't makes me think twice about going forward. If there's a chance to go forward, then I'll be going forward to try and create a chance. I mean, you know, uh, me and Sadio will probably be on that side, and um, if it, if that's the case, then we'll hopefully be causing them problems going going back the way. And also, we need to be switched on defensively. We always have to be, whether it's whoever you're playing against, and um, you know, we'll we'll hopefully be like that, and we'll get back into. Our, 
affirmation quite quickly if we break down, but at the end of the day, we're at home and we need to create chances and we need to, like I said, try and get the fans behind us, which they will be. And um, the only way to do that is create chances and, and score a couple of goals. And, and hopefully we can we can do that by, um, you know, if I can help getting forward and try to create chances, then, um, you know, that's what we'll do. Any final questions? Right, thank you very much, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>